Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed for you a video that I've really been wanting to do for a long time because I really really want to share this technique because I truly think it is the best way and the most inexpensive way to get your brushes perfectly clean like looking brand new. Um, so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just did a little clip here of the brushes before and then coming right up. I'm just showing you guys the different brushes here and how really dirty they are. And then I do a span here of um, after when the brushes were drying. And you can definitely see the difference with how clean and how new looking they are versus how they looked before. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I basically use things that pretty much everybody has in their home. You want to get a good dish detergent, one that gets really um, sudsy. Um, the great thing about using dish detergent is that it cuts through grease and since there's a lot of oil and makeup, it's really, really great for breaking down the makeup and getting it off the brushes. And then olive oil, which does help keep the brushes soft and um, not make them scratchy. And it's also really good for removing makeup and breaking down um, oil and things like that. So I used about a third a cup of the um, soap with a, maybe like one tablespoon of the olive oil. Mix it up and then I head up to the bathroom. I'm really hoping the lighting is okay in the video. Um, I just basically put my soap and brushes on one side of the sink and then the towel that I throw the brushes on on the other side of the sink and I'm just showing you guys how I have everything set up and then here I just wanted to show you guys essentially how dirty those brushes are and how many I cleaned with just that little bit of soap and olive oil so truly a little bit goes a long way so you basically just want to start by turning on your sink um, you don't want it to be too hot or too cold I always turn it to warm and I make it like a really small stream just to save water and try to be a little bit water conscious here. So what I do is I start by wetting my brush and then I take the brush, dip it in the bowl. This is gonna be my dirtiest brush because it's my foundation brush. And as you can see all the product that's falling into the sink and into my hand, how much this this soap and olive oil mixture is just removing and cleaning the makeup off the brush. So um, with the foundation brush, I'll usually dip it once or twice, sometimes a third time, just because that's like the brush I use every single day and the foundation does have a tendency to get stuck in the brush. And then I just squeeze it dry and make sure that it keeps that shape. And as you can see, it's gotten way cleaner than how it started off. So I'll just show you guys again. I wet the brush, dip it in the soap, and then I just use my hand. I've tried to use those things like those gloves and those textured mats and those little things that go on two of your fingers. This is truly, in my opinion, the best and most convenient way. I really don't care for the one, the like the spa gloves and um, the little things that you put on both your fingers. This is a really great one to show you because this is like a bronzing brush and look at look at how clean this brush gets after I do this. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, it's just my hands are really pruney by the end of this but that's to be expected. But look how white that brush is in comparison to when I started. I, honestly I've used high-end expensive brush cleaners and this is really the best way to get them clean. So this one here is my Morphe M523. This is my contouring brush, so it has all that dark powder in it. Another really great one. You can see how dark it was when I started out and how clean it is after I finish cleaning it.
I will move on here to some eyeshadow brushes. This is my E40 from Sigma, a really great one I use for um, my crease color. And you can see there all the product that comes out. Another one I use dark product on, the Sigma E25. I'm so sorry, guys, that I actually was trying to show you guys the brushes prior to washing them and then after but they were kind of out of frame unfortunately so I had to clip that part out but I did add that beginning part so you guys could see what the brushes look like before they were washed and after they were washed. Here's another good one to see. This is my um, angled eyeliner brush, and you can see all the black. I wish I had showed you guys before, but before I wiped it off my hands, but you could see all the black eyeliner that came out. And then also, I just wanted to show you guys with the little brushes, you can definitely do more than one at a time. It takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to wash all my brushes, and um, this will just give me a good opportunity to ask you guys here if you want to see a video on all my favorite brushes, just let me know. I'd be happy to do one. Um, and and the best part of this mix is you can or this like solution or whatever the soap is you can use it in your beauty blenders and you can see here how much is coming off of that beauty blender it is really time consuming though to get the beauty blender clean but regardless of what you're using the beauty blenders are just not easy to clean so um, I hear I'm I'm cleaning the real the actual original beauty blender and then um, after this I go in with the Real Techniques um, complexion pers uh, complexion <laughs> complexion per oh my goodness complexion perfection sponge. So I usually save the beauty blenders to the end so that way I can just use all the remaining soap in the dish um, because it will essentially absorb it, and that way I'm not wasting any soap at the end. And now I'm all finished, thank goodness. So we are going to get these out of the bathroom and I will show you guys how I lay them out to dry them. Hi clean brushes, you're so beautiful. So what I do is I take all my brushes and lay them out on my vanity on a towel. They usually are dry, like I'll do them in the afternoon on a Sunday and they're usually dry by the next morning. So here is just a pan of all of them together drying off and here is a close up of all of them. I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!